Hey guys, Wild Kyle here. Today I am with Ashley and with our friend Bree, and we have come to a creek site that I have not been to in a very, very long time. There's a really nice mixture of Pleistocene mammal fossils and shark teeth here, so there's gonna be a lot of variety today. So I think we're gonna walk around a little bit first, do some surface collecting, and find a good gravel bar to sift on. And once we find one that seems worthy of our time, we will throw on some gloves, and we'll fill up some sifters, and hopefully find some really cool stuff. So we're gonna get walking down the creek. Wish us luck, let's get to it. Right, Bree just said she noticed something right there. Check that out, guys. That's a Glyptodont scoot just sitting right on the surface. That is a beautiful one, too. Let me touch it. I'm gonna wash it off. That's awesome. Glyptodont scoot right there. First fossil of the day. Very nice. Let's keep on going. We're seeing a lot of little gravel bars similar to where Bree just found that Glyptodont scoot. There's a lot of big gravel right here. So we're gonna slow down for just a second and Check this stuff out. Right here. That's a little fossil turtle neural scoot. So that goes down the center of the back. Pretty cool little fossil right there for sure. I'll keep that one. Look at this giant snaggle tooth shark tooth right on the top. That's a beautiful, beautiful tooth right there. Very nice. Right here is another cool surface find. This is actually a tortoise leg spur right there. So there'd be tons of these going all up and down the leg of the tortoise. Very hard to identify, but they're often described as a Hershey's kiss. <laughs> so that shape. That's a pretty cool find. I'm gonna keep walking. So this right here is a good sign as well. This is a very large piece of fossilized bone right there. It looks Pleistocene and from a big mammal, so probably a chunk of mammoth or mastodon. That is a pretty cool find right there. So very, very promising. There might be some megafauna stuff in here. So there's a good bit of gravel right here, so we're going to throw on some gloves and do a little bit of sifting and see what we can find. Do a little test here and see if it's worth staying. So the method of sifting today is I've got some gloves on to protect my hands and I'm going to feel for gravel down in these low spots. I'm going to fan it up into a pile, grab it and throw it in my screen. And hopefully this is the way we will find amazing fossils today. Look at all that gravel. So there's a lot right here. So we should be finding some pretty cool stuff here real soon. Oh yeah, I feel big gravel down there. I feels it. Look at all that stuff. Big chunk of bone right there. Heck yeah. So I'm going to fill some screens up and then take you guys through some screens with me. Wish me luck. Alright, I just filled up a screen right here and I had to stop and grab the camera. Because check out right there, already on top is a very, very nice horse tooth right there. And... I see tons of pieces of bone, so there's, oh, that's wood, never mind, my bad. Oh, there's a big chunk of turtle shell right there. That's a pretty cool edge piece. Should be some little shark teeth in here, yep, sure enough. Little lemon shark right there. But there's a really cool mixture of shark teeth and mammal stuff here, so this is a really cool spot. I'm gonna keep sifting and see what else we can find. Wish me the luck. Here's a closer look at the horse tooth right there. It's kind of a little beat up now looking closer at it, but pretty dang cool fossil right there. So I just filled up a screen right there where I found that horse tooth. You can probably already see from here, there are giant, giant chunks of bone. Look at that, big pieces of rib bone, which could probably be horse, I would guess. Probably not associated, maybe, I don't know, but that's really cool. That was fun pulling those out of there, guys. That was that was an exciting feeling. And now I'm going to go through this screen. Oh, look at that. It's a chunk of a mammoth tooth right there. A little piece of it. That's some of the enamel. Well, that was surprising. A lot of crazy bone in that screen, but I'm not seeing much of anything else. Oh, well, there's a little stingray grinding plate right there. All right, let's keep filling. That, my friends is a little baby megalodon shark tooth posterior also near the back of the mouth. This is for all the ones out there who say megalodon teeth can't be this small. Here's your proof. They start out as little babies too, just like the rest of us. Very nice fossil. So I just went through a screen and dumped it and I looked over on the bank and I saw what looked like a little Glyptodont scoot right there. So I already flipped it over guys, but I put it back because I want you to have the same excitement I had when picking it up. Pulled it over. That is a Glyptodont tail scoot right there. So that's on the tail with a little spike. 
That is such a cool find. I've only ever found one other one in my life a while back, and it wasn't as defined as this one. So this one makes me very, very happy. That is such a cool fossil right there. So Bree just finished going through a screen here. She, oh, you just started. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and she's got a little bull shark tooth there already and some turtle shell. And this is actually a little tiny fragment of a mammoth tooth. You can see the enamel right there and some random bone right there as well. And she's only gone through that much of the screen, so there's probably going to be some more stuff in there. Ashley's got the screen going right here. Oh, my gosh. Nice lemon shark tooth. Heck, yeah. All right, I'm sick of watching you guys find fossils. I'm going to go find some fossils. <laughs> Here's some of what Bree has been finding. Look at that. She's got a nice glyptodont scoot right there and a bunch of little shark teeth and bone fragments as well. Very nice. Look how cool this is, guys. It's a small creek, but there's part where there's some, like, really crazy limestone exposures right here. And it's actually pretty dang cool. Very gorgeous up here. I decided to go for a little walk. Ashley and Bree are still back sifting. And check this out. It's a little old school Clorox bottle. That's awesome right there. Oh, there it goes. That's a cool bottle right there. I don't remember the exact age on these ones. Probably like eh, 50s, 60s, 70s in between there. But that's a really cool one. So heck yeah, that's coming home with me. And basically right next to that bottle big dugong bone section rib bone right there so there are fossils here as well pretty sure that's just going to be dugong right there but it's like sticking right out of the bank what what in the world that's crazy okay you can see where it was exposed and where it wasn't right there that's actually kind of cool big old chunk that's pretty cool right there i like that color that's pretty oh my goodness look at the size of that elephant ear. That's my foot, guys. <laughs> that is huge. Like, I could lay on it and it would be like a bed if I curled up. What in the world? That is awesome. Okay, there's where it came from, probably. Bunch of big boys right there. They are absolutely beautiful. Right, making my way back to Bree and Ashley now. Got a couple cool little things to show them. I'm curious to see if they found anything cool sifting. Right, I made it back to Bree and Ashley. What did you guys find? Some turtle neural scoots, so those go down the center of the back on the turtle. Oh, a big chunk of rib bone. That's really cool. We'll see what Ashley found. What'd you get while I was gone, Ashley? Well, I've been saving stuff for you. Ooh, for me to have? Yes. Oh, whoa. Not this, though. Oh, it's a partial megalodon right there. Yeah. Nice. I found this weird metal thing. Oh, it's a lock. Lynx, it says. It's just all rusted out. That's kind of cool. Nice, babe. Thanks. Well, it's starting to get dark on us, so we don't have a whole lot more time, but we got to keep finding fossils for as long as possible. I got another screen full here, and right off the bat, I felt this with my hands, throwing it in there. It's like a kind of weird skull cap or something of some sort is what it looks like to me. I'm not 100% sure on it, but it's got the symmetry. There's a line going right down there. You can see where it looks like the spinal cord or something weird would have gone right there or connected to another part of the skull. And that's kind of what that looks like to me. I'm not 100% sure though, like I said, so if any of you guys have ideas, let me know in the comments below. But I'm definitely leaning towards skull cap of some sort of big mammal right there. And then let's go look through the rest of this thing. There's some turtle shell right there. Really nice pattern on it. There's a little tiny tooth. Nice little lemon shark tooth. Let's see, oh, there's another nice lemon shark tooth. That's a nice color right there. There's some turtle shell right there again. Nice edge of the shell. There's a nice tiger shark tooth right there. That's pretty cool. And other than that, looks like that's good. Dump it. On to the next one. Bree's over there sifting like a maniac. <laughs> Look at this, guys. I filled up a screen and just a little bit, and right away. I saw a busted megalodon shark tooth right there. Little juvenile one. Man, that would have been nice because that's got some very cool color right there. And then there's a little lemon shark tooth in there as well. And that's all for that little tiny screen. Gonna keep filling some more. Oh my God, guys. I just heard Ashley yelling and she goes, Goo! and I look over and there 
There's a dang mastodon tooth in her hand right there. Oh my goodness. That's so cool. Man, I'm sad about that part right there. Oh my gosh. No, it's not what I've been looking for all day. Stop it. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Good thing I drove here today, guys. See you later. It's mine now. <laughs> Look at that, a mastodon tooth. Ashley done got some mastodon tooth and it makes me very jealous. Here you go, babe. It's all mine. Yeah. Mine. Oh my gosh. Ah, I need to find one. All right, guys, as you can see, it's starting to get pretty dark on us, so we are going to get out of the creek before the Sasquatches come to eat us because I don't want to be eaten by the Sasquatch, and I know y'all don't want to see that either, hopefully. So we're going to get all the cool stuff laid out here in a little bit and show you guys, so stay tuned. All right, guys, here is the stuff laid out from today's creek adventure. This isn't even everything. This is just some of the cooler stuff. I mean, there's still way more piles of turtle shell and shark teeth but start over here with some of the shark teeth we got quite a few with a nice variety of colors look at that snaggle tooth that thing's like green that is wild got a piece of megalodon right there just tons of cool little teeth and stuff nice tiger shark teeth in there i found this big chunk of bone it's like huge i don't even really know what it's from probably a mammoth or mastodon but that's pretty cool i was pretty excited about this old Clorox bottle, which is pretty cool. It says Clorox like a million times all over it. <laughs> some turtle shell over here. Some soft shell turtle right there. And some other cool pieces. I love the little pieces with the pattern on them. I got this kind of weird skull cap thing, like I said, is what I'm guessing. If any of you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. But I'm leaning towards skull cap on that one. And then some of the best stuff up here Ashley, I think, got two of the best things, so I'll get to those last, but Bree killed it with the Glyptodont scoot. She got three very nice ones right there, and then I got the Glyptodont tail spike right there, which I was very, very happy with, and I also got this very nice horse tooth. I also got this Megalodon shark tooth. I wish it was complete because that color is absolutely insane, but I couldn't resist showing it again because that's just really some crazy color. And then the two best finds go to Ashley. She got this, which is a super rare little astragalus. And from the sediments we were in, which were a range from Miocene to Pleistocene, judging by the size of this one, I'm guessing this is from a small camel or something like that. And it's a really, really cool fossil. I love weird little stuff like that. So we're going to take that to Richard Halbert at the museum and get a positive idea on that pretty soon. And then she got this mastodon tooth right here, which is so killer. It's not complete, unfortunately, but most of it is there. So it's a pretty dang awesome find. And I did not really expect to find that in the creek. So that was super cool. Well, that's it, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. And we will see you in the next video.